it's an absolutely cracker of a morning so i've whipped out uh, with the boat i'm going to get in the water i want to do a quick fast fish but i want to try some new techniques today so i've got some types of jigs that i've never ever fished going to give them a stab with this nice calm weather wind's meant to come up a bit so let's get out there get into it try and get some fish I haven't even gone above five knots yet, but there's a few birds working just at the harbour mouth. The ramp is just in those boats over there, so I've gone nowhere. I'm just gonna flick this micro jig in, just pop it down to the bottom and see if it comes up with anything. Just with this little bit of, there's a bit of sign around and definitely some, um, definitely a few birds just popping around on the surface. I've never fished this technique before, so it's all very new to me. I'm just, I guess I'll just, oh, big fish just jumping right here. <laughs> wow, wow. Um, I'll just play around a bit, see, see what I can, see what I can manage. I've got a few different options on board too, so I can switch out to soft baits and other types of lures and stuff if I uh, am not having the su success that I, uh, that I hope for. A few tiny taps there but nothing major so there is lots of sign have a look at that on the screen lots of bottom sign but yeah just a few tiny little nudges so let's head out I was just tootling out, came across some birds and some fish on the surface which is completely dispersed within 30 seconds of me showing up but I've dropped on the spot anyway there was a whole lot of sign when the fish were under me but they're gone sign's gone but we're here now <laughs> first fish hooked up Something with a bit of a bit of get up and go. It's quite a lively, lively fighter. Oh, it is a snap. I, th I thought it was, but it was it was fighting kind of sideways, which is unusual. Really positive take as well, which is nice. Ah, awesome! First fish with a new technique is always nice. I've been, I have been fishing for a little while. Oops, sorry mate. I have been fishing for a little while now, just trying to figure myself out, you know, work on techniques. I've just been kind of working it down to the bottom. Jeez, that hook's in there. I've just been working it down to the bottom. I need some pliers on this one. Um, and flitter, bringing it up, flittering it down, up, flittering down, up, flittering down, and then all the way back down again to the bottom. And it's been about half an hour. There we go. It's done the trick. That's a well legal fish. Back to Tangaroa. On again. Another super positive take. I'm liking these micro jigs. We're swimming towards the boat. <laughs> this feels like a tamara again, snapper. Good little fighter. Oh, that's great fish. Great eating size. 40, 42, 40, well, probably 43, 44. Great eating size. Look at that, perfectly hooked in the corner. Just this little sort of natural looking 
micro jig. Ah, oh, that is in the bag for sure. Awesome. I'm just using a soft bait set for this, which feels a little bit clunky, I must say. But having only caught two fish with this technique, I'm already thinking dedicated rod. It's cool. It's real fun. It's that they're biting strong. It's I, I normally soft bait, so I do a lot of soft baiting, which I just absolutely love. I think it's such a great way to fish. But this is super cool. Different technique catching fish pretty quickly, haven't been fishing for that long. And it feels good, the bite feels real good. So we're in 25 meters. So I'm just sort of working it to the bottom, letting it flitter down and then I'm sort of just Pinging it up, down, up, down, up, down. Again, super positive takes. Sort of getting the jig to the bottom. Um, then just fluttering it up a little and it's just, it's as it seems to flutter back down after I've done it a couple of times. Maybe it's hitting the bottom, stirring up dirt, brings them in and then it flutters down and they just, boom, massively positive takes. That's a, that's a wee snap. Oh, man, they are hooked good every time. None of these fish are ever coming off. These quite small hooks, so pliers are quite helpful. Oh, here we go. That would be legal, but it's pretty small just legal. On again. I had the camera going then, so you would have seen just the way I worked it up a little bit and then really solid positive hookup. I was just thinking about stopping with these micro jigs. The wind, the wind has come up a tiny bit and um, I'm drifting a bit faster and the tide's starting to move together with the wind and they weren't really under the boat anymore. I was sort of pushing out the back. So I was thinking, oh, maybe the, maybe the way they're moving in the water is not so good, but that's a really nice fish. Perfect. Bag size too. Perfect for the dinner table. Mid 40s. Maybe a bit bigger even. Again, look at that. Every time. Just magically through that corner. Oh, what a great looking snapper. I'm stoked with that. Great fun. Great fun. Oh, awesome. It's going in the bag for sure. The wind has come up again, so I'm switching out to soft baits now because the we are drifting just a bit too fast. Those micro jigs are just heading out the back. But there is no way I'm not revisiting that technique. That was super fun. I've got tons to learn. Um, but I caught fish, so I'm definitely going to do it again. Now I'm going to get some 7 inch soft baits out there. Uh, I've put the sea anchor out just to try and slow us down a bit. See if we can get a few more in the boat. <laughs> Hooked up on the soft bait. This was one of those ones where you never expect to hook a fish because I made an absolute faff of everything. The um, 
I didn't tie the sea anchor properly because I was rushing. Suddenly I realized it was, it was heading overboard. Managed to save it, had to leave the soft bait in the rod holder. So it's just been wallowing about while I've retied. And now hooked a, hooked a wee snapper. Look at that. It's a good sized fish. It's small. What that is, is it's 35 centimeters, but I can feel it's really blown up. Um, we want to have a whole fish, so I'm going to uh, icky that guy and take it, even though it's small, because that cooks up really nicely as a whole fish. No waste, perfect meal. Delicious. Hooked up for the first time in ages. I've just got a really annoying wind knot in my braid. I was faffing around trying to sort that out. And suddenly I've got a fish on. So every time I do something wrong today, I seem to catch a fish. Oh, there we go. Not as big as I'd like to see, but well legal. He's come up from pretty deep. You can see he's blown up a bit. I'm going to keep him so he doesn't suffer. Good little eater. It's gone incredibly slow, the fishing. I've caught nothing in ages. Moved a couple of times. N nothing major, just little shimmies. Just to, I've, I've come closer to the land now just to catch a little bit of shelter because the wind is picking up quite a lot where I was further out. Uh, but I haven't caught a fish in ages. There's just not much going on. Keep trying. Oh. Oh, come on, man. It's not going to come back a third time, is it? It is! Yes, fish! Uh, hey, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good run. So that was multiple stabs. And then finally finally hooked up. Those first two hits did not feel very good though. Whoa, this has got a, it's got a bit in it this fish. Not sure what I've actually hooked to be honest. Good runs, some good weight here. That's nice when you say it's gone super slow and then you've into a big fish. It's a lot of weight in this fish. I'm in 28 meters of water. I'll just ease it up. Honestly, don't know what this is. It's just running. That's, that's about all it's doing. There's no, there's no other patterns that, whew, I think it is snap, but who knows? Nice to have some weight on the line. Oh. Feeling good. Oh, I can see color. It's a snapper. Really good one. Oh, that is a nice fish. Let me grab the net. Oh, that is a brilliant fish. Oh, yes. Yeah, boy. Awesome. 
Alrighty, how's that? That is a epic sized fish. Oh, yes. You can stoke, that would be like 12 pounds, something like that, 12, 13 pound. Great fish, heaps of weight. That as let's try and get it home. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yes. Love it when they swim away. Great fish, good fight. Awesome. I do love it when a bit of a plan comes into place. So I, I was out deep, I was in 40 meters, it was pretty windy. I couldn't really stay in touch with my soft bait because it was moving too fast. It was all just, you know, some, some conditions too. You just can't tell where your soft bait's at. So I thought I'll push in a little bit closer to what are we, 30 meters now, but it was about 26 when I started, 28 when I caught that fish. Um, and just have a bit more control and straight away I'm into that fish. Great fight, good fish. That was nice. Yeah, one more for the bag would be good. I've done another little shimmy into shallow water again because I drifted right back out with no action. Uh, 21 meters. Uh, oh, and my wind knot. I finally got it out, so my casting has improved dramatically. It was like 30, 40 meters up my braid, and I just could not get the knot to pop out. And then all of a sudden, I just it freed it up. I thought I have one more go. So my casting's improved. I'm shallower. Wind's still coming up. Let's see what we can get. And again, it's another good heavy fish. It's gone really slow, it's been very quiet. But what I'd noticed with those few fish earlier is a bunch of them have been coughing or uh, pooping up some bright orange stuff. I don't actually know what it was, but something that they're eating. So I've changed out the soft bait to, to one called, this fish had a lot of fight to start with, now it's gone pretty, pretty quiet. Feels very light all of a sudden. Uh, I've changed out the soft bait to one called Coral Trout's Bright Orange. This is about the third cast. So after nothing for ages, I'm finally in. Yes, this is what we want. This is eating size. Yeah, mid 40s. There we go, great eating size fish. There's that Coral Trout softy, seven inch on a, I'm on a three quarter ounce jig head. That has just done the damage on that. Perfect eating size fish. That'll be about mid, oh yeah, 42. So low 40s, but that is a very good eating size specimen. All right, get him on ice. Nice. This one was on the retrieval. Another fish with a good bit of fight. It's been one of those days where it's pretty slow, pretty hard to get a bite. But when you do get a bite, they're, they're strong. There's just not many of them. And this is what, the same things happen where it's gone hard and then so it gives up the ghost a bit. You see, that's a tiny fish. That fought hard. A well legal fish. It had a lot more fight in it than its size would let on. Alrighty, it's been a bunch more casts with no joy at all. I think I'm gonna call it there. 
it's getting a bit late in the day. Uh, it's been fun, hard days fishing, but a fun days fishing. So good results, but they were hard to come by. Really enjoyed those micro jigs. I'll be fishing with them again. Thanks heaps for watching this one. It's been, been a cool one to film, just learning something new, practicing. I've definitely got to try more with those, uh, find some more techniques and figure it out. So if you've got any tips, let me know down in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks heaps for watching. We'll see you in the next one.